Hey, happy uh, Thursday, seniors. Uh, Mr. Gardner with our senior class meeting. This is our second of four senior class meetings. I know you guys can see the slides. I'm gonna go through the complete slideshow and take you through everything. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is uh, show you the link that uh, Mike Annis from uh, Jostens has given. I think I did this on a previous email um, video and then also his video. You guys probably have seen it before and then hopefully in your Troy time this week, you've been able to pick up your uh, graduation uh, gown and senior swag packet. So we're kind of giving you a double dose of that so you guys can either order from the packet or you can order online, just making sure you know you have options. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera down or off um, just understand that this is still a draft. Um, we usually don't make all the finalizations to the senior graduation countdown until after winter break. So just trying to give you the very best information you can have for right now as you prepare yourself for destination graduation. Um, you probably all should have heard about Zello. It started in October. Zello is your high school and beyond plan platform to be accessed during Troy time. You can work with Zello anytime you want, but we have at least one or two lessons each month to help you complete those during Troy time. All lessons must be completed to fulfill the state and district graduation requirement. This is something you don't want to wait on. You want to keep working at it as each month rolls along. And it also provides you some meaning for your senior year as far as getting yourself prepared for after high school. So one of the lessons that you should have already touched base with is the financial aid and just overall success lesson. And you can see all the lessons, how they're lined out. Um, this is one that should have happened a week or so ago. Uh, this is where we're at today. This is a senior class meeting. Um, and I've already pushed out some information about Jostens. We'll double dose on that today. Um, on, on, October, I'm not sorry, November 18th and 19th, you're going to have another opportunity to work on another Zello lesson. And then on January 13th and 14th, now let's hold on there a second. You've got all winter break also to catch up on anything you haven't done by then. Can you work ahead with Zello? You may work ahead if you want. You can absolutely do that. Uh, in February, we have um, a lesson also on the 10th and 11th, and this is career path choices. So you can see there's titles, there's themes for every one of these you go through. And like anything in life, you're going to get the most out of it, what you put into it. If you try to race through it and really not try to develop any meaning with lessons, you're going to get very minimal, um, I guess, uh, return on that. If you really take your time and try to think about things and reflect and maybe even talk to your folks or teachers about it, you're going to get a lot more out of it and be that much more prepared as you get ready to graduate. And then we have one in March. We have a couple of them in March. We're double dosing in March. So we got lesson five, lesson six. I'm going to head on down here. Ooh, there's an important date, Friday, March 27th. That's Auburn Community Scholarships are due that day. And that is a solid date. Uh, Mrs. Lutton gave me that date. And then we'll have our third senior class meeting towards the end of April. So you can see how much time between now and then, and that's on purpose because we really want you focusing on your high school and beyond plan. Um, we get to that end of, the, of April again, and you got a high school beyond plan lesson seven, and that's kind of getting career backup plan set up. Um, and then the next one is in May, and that's for job interviewing. And working on down, then we're gonna have um, kind of like getting it all done by middle of, uh, June, as you can see. And when we go, let me go back one. Um, we're going to start handing out certificates of completion. When we get to the end of May, first part of June in your Troy time. And once you get your certificate of completion, you're going to know that you're done with Zello. Um, and then our kind of our drop dead deadline is going to be Thursday, uh, June 16th, as you can see that. And we'll be giving you some warnings on that one. Um, the other thing is community service hours. There's 10 hours must be completed as part of your high school and beyond plan requirements. Many of you have already been working on this since your, so or your freshman year. Uh, check with your counselor on any questions regarding community service hours, how much you've logged, if you don't already know. Okay, a little bit about community service. 10 hours must all be, also must be completed as part of your high school and beyond plan requirement. It's all baked into that. So let's go down to the rules, rules for completing the community service. We encourage students to find meaningful opportunities to connect to an area of career interest or your pathway. 
Like if you wanted to be a teacher, you could volunteer at an elementary school, like in the afternoons. We also want to remind students that hours from a service club here at school, key club, robotics, National Honor Society, for example, do count towards your 10 hours. And most of them have service opportunities. So you can kind of, you know, take care of two things at once. What you can't do is you can't receive pay for your service, okay? It's got to be a free service. That's why they call it community service. Okay, you cannot babysit, dog sit, yard work, or other forms of labor for immediate family members for free. Okay, so it's not the normal chores you might be doing around your home. Um, it can be anything that does fall under service towards neighbors, community, school, church, and then nonprofit organizations. That's the NPOs. It needs to be documented and signed by the adults the community service is being performed or completed with or for. And we're going to get you guys a documentation form. We're working on it right now. We'll get that out to you before the holidays. In the meantime, if you're working on this, just keep it documented somewhere and let the adult know that you're going to have to come back for some type of a signature from them. All right, I'm going to switch over here to senior gear, caps and gowns. Um, you guys have already seen the link to um, ordering online. I talked to Mike the other day. He says we've already had some orders coming in. I mentioned that you already have, or you should have, um, kind of your hard package. It came in a big white envelope, a bunch of stuff in there. Um, I haven't opened up one yet, but it's got all the same information. And then we're going to watch the video that Mike put together for us when we finish this up. Our next senior class meeting isn't until April 27th. And by that time, you guys, I would gauge it. You need to have 70, 80% of your Zello lessons should be completed by that time. Okay. Um, so what we covered here today was Zello, that's your high school and beyond plan, community service, and then taking care of your senior gear, your caps and your gowns. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. I'm going to show you, this is the, the online form to order from. This is what it's going to look like when you click on that first link. And I'll put that in the email too. You've already received this one time, but I know you guys are busy. So we want to send it out a second time and I'll probably send it out again. Um, and then we're going to go and watch the video by Mike. So hopefully this is not too echoey. Here we go. Hello, Auburn Senior High School Trojans, parents and seniors. My name is Mike Annis with Justin's, and we're here to help you celebrate your achievement, pride, and the celebration of graduation. You should have by now or should receive a graduation packet that explains how to order your graduation caps and gowns, the announcements, and all the accessories. So it's an exciting time. We want to make this fun and easy for you. And we're going to invite you to place your order online at our website, jostens.com. We've provided an easy link right here on the website if you want. And if you order by November 13th, we will be back in school on the 16th, Tuesday, to deliver your senior gear so that you can use them and wear them throughout the year. If you do not feel comfortable using the internet, feel free to use the paper order forms and turn them in on Tuesday the 16th. Uh, everything's pretty self-explanatory. If you get it in with the group, there are three benefits. You get discounted pricing, there'll be no shipping, and of course you'll get your senior items, the gear to wear early so that you can use them throughout the year. So again, congratulations. We look forward to working with you. If you have any questions, call, text, or send us an email, the link attached, and you'll be all set. Thank you. Okay, so that's basically the information you guys need to know right now. And let's see here. Okay, I think that's it. You guys know how know how to email me if you have questions. He talked about coming and delivering the product, but right now the distribution is going to come from the bookkeeper's office, not the bookkeeper's office. Sorry, guys, the activities office with Miss Skill. That's going to be where you'll pick up uh, your caps and gowns and that kind of stuff right now um, when we get that in. Um, and then also, that's also going to be the same office where you guys will pick up your graduation tickets, but that won't be until June. Um, you're also going to get a copy um, on the email this video came with um, or came on that's going to give you the most updated version of our graduation countdown and it looks like this and like i said not everything is locked in on dates um the next iteration you'll get will be after winter break and that one pretty much will have everything 
um, the way it needs to be. So anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I know this isn't as good as meeting live in person, but it's the best we can do for right now. All right. Take care, everybody.